Let's do a quick lesson in Japanese. Let's learn Tadaima. Tadaima is a shortened form of a sentence that means, I've just come back home. Mainly, it's an expression you use when you have just come back home. But you can use it in other occasions. For example, when you have returned from a foreign country, you say, Tadaima. You can also use it when you come back to your office from outside. You can use Tadaima not only when you come back home, but also when you come back to places where you belong. I wanted to start this video with me saying exactly just that. Tadaima. I've just come back home. But can I really say that this is a place where I belong? Can I really say that I have just come back home to Japan? It has been three long years since my last trip to Japan. So this trip I had just recently was full of anxiety. Like, how much have things changed? Is this still the place that I had so much comfort just being in? I want to take you along this trip with me throughout Tokyo. I learned a lot. I got reacquainted with Tokyo and there were a few speed bumps. So keep watching to see if this place is actually still the place where I can say that I belong. Welcome to the Tokyo Super Vlog. So good morning. We are just getting ready to start our day here in Japan. Today our agenda is to just go out and see a bit of Tokyo, walk around. And if you notice, I'm very tight here in our shooting angle. And I've been meaning to purchase a wider lens. So I think I'm gonna try and do that today. Let's go start the day. Let's go get coffee. <laughs> Bye-bye. Track number two. 
Hello and good morning. It is 7 ish a.m. and I was thinking I could show you some of Japan, particularly Akihabara. Akihabara is one of the more popular places in Tokyo. And I want to try walking around and showing you some of what's around here. Mornings in Akihabara. I think that's how you really pronounce it. And I think Akihabara is a really nice place to start, especially for people who are not super acquainted with Japan. It's just that today looks like it's going to be a very snowy day. So let's see how it turns out. 7 a.m. flat. Way, way, way too cold. I should just call this freezing in Akihabara. I actually feel like there's a good perspective of Akihabara because not many people actually document Akihabara this early in the morning. It's interesting to see how things are when it's not so alive at 7 a.m. Like this. Barely anyone here. Barely, barely anyone here. Wow. This street is usually like super busy in the evenings and it's dead. No one's here. It's so quiet. It's it's like it's a totally different place. Very, very different from your typical Akihabara. Actually, now that I think about it, I want to show you something. Because, if you see here, just behind me is is Akihabara you know like like whatever you see like that's Akihabara but just a quick walk from from there to here there's actually something I want to show it's I think it's interesting well it's fun for me I'm not sure if it's fun for you but let's go there anyway One thing I have to be very careful about though is there are like there's a difference in camera laws here versus like somewhere say Canada. In Canada for example when you're out in public you actually uh, relinquish your right to privacy or something like that and you can and people around can just freely take pictures of you just because. It's different in Japan where people actually have the right to demand for you to erase anything. If you ever like, capture people on video or photos. So now I actually actively try and not make people too recognizable in what I'm taking. So, we actually came from Akihabara over there and now we're just arriving here in a place called Ochanomizu. Now, after doing a bit of research about Ochanomizu, I found out that the place itself had a lot of historical significance. Ochanomizu is an area with rich history actually and is considered as the birthplace of modern education in Japan. But that's not really the reason why I like it. The real reason why I like Ochanomizu is because it's a very big guitar shopping hub. Ochanomizu is known for having high concentrations of guitar stores, 
making it a go-to destination for guitar enthusiasts and musicians in general. Sadly, we are here early in the morning, so the guitar stores aren't open yet. But as you can see, it's a very guitar-centric place, and it's still very much Japan. If you have been a follower of this channel for a while, you will know that I am a very big music nerd. In terms of music, I'm mostly a guitarist. I like to play the guitar. For me, Ocha no Mizu is a haven for guitar players, and this is why I like going here. Now, as I say my goodbyes to Japan, this evening, I reflect on what I'm feeling. I have enjoyed myself so much the past few days, yet I actually feel sad taking the trains home alone. It's probably because this is goodbye. But is it really the goodbye Japan, the goodbye Tokyo, that is making me feel this way? It was such a strange feeling, being in such a foreign land, feeling like a foreigner, an outsider, yet also feeling like there's a place for me among friends, that there are people who do actually say I belong. 
I realize this trip that it isn't really the physical place that I wanted to come back home to. It was the friends I have made here. The friends I have not seen in three long years. So yes, this was Tadaima. They were the reason I felt I belong. So for now, this isn't goodbye. It is matane. Itakimas. I'll be back again soon.